Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I got a request to show the uh, tank on one of the flat cars. This is the only one I have left. And uh, I had, uh, I don't know, three of these, I think, originally, on Lionel cars. Anyway, I've got one dedicated to this. This is the uh, Mark's Army Train that I built completely out of junk parts. It's all mismatched. Some of it is tab and slot. Some of it is plastic tilt. Some of it is metal tilt. Anyway, painted all the cars green. This was bottom of the line junk. All rusted, beat to death. Had to pop some dents out. And it was rusted beyond repair. Got some oily thumbprints on it. Anyway, an old Commodore Vanderbilt wind-up conversion. And uh, painted it green, kind of olive drab. And then a tender, two box cars, a uh, lumber car. A flat car that originally had a, uh, hmm, I really don't remember. I think it had an old crane body on it. A uh, gondola, that this was just absolutely covered in rust. And uh, got it full of uh, wine corks, painted green. These are poison gas containers, of course. A tank, another uh, box car, helicopter, and caboose. Like I said, this was all assembled out of junk. I mean, this was bottom of the line, rusted junk. But as you see, it's all 3 16 wheels. All of it. So all mismatched, but painted the entire thing green, and it gives me a Mark's Army Train. Now, I was going to put the decals on it, but the decals would actually cost more than the entire train cost. So obviously, I'm not going to spend that much money to put decals on this. So anyway, it's on the uh, third rail. Thought I'd take this around just to see, see it running. The uh, Commodore has a Mark's uh, 490 double reduction motor in it. Has 490 push rods on it. This actually runs quite well. And from a few feet away, it actually looks like a Mark's Army train. It's pretty close to OD Green. So just a bunch of junk, rusted cars, all mismatched. Some are tab and slot, some are plastic tilt, some are metal tilt. But as you see, it's actually quite respectable looking. I don't think anyone would object to owning it. You know, it looks like an army train, it runs like an army train. It runs forward only, an old dead motor that I resurrected. An old wind-up conversion. But as you see, it actually doesn't look too bad. And it runs absolutely splendidly. It runs really, really well. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. Running at 50% power, Commodore Vanderbilt with a 490 double reduction motor in it. All 3 16 wheels. And like I said, this was junk, all of it. The uh, box cars were rusted, covered in rust. All the uh, tin litho paint was just dreadful. So anyway, it was the perfect choice to uh, use these cars, painted everything green. Painted that tinder, just masked off the coal load, as you see. Went up to Ace Hardware, they had the uh, closest color I could find. This is actually called camouflage green, but it's pretty close to OD. As you see, it doesn't look bad at all. An old caboose that was actually just eaten alive with rust. So it was a perfect candidate to repaint and turn into an army train. And they're all 3 16 uh, trucks, as you see. So it's far from perfect. It's made out of junk, but it definitely looks like a Mark's Army train. Like I said, I was going to go ahead and get the decals, but uh, the decals for two of the cars are 12 bucks. Well, we have 10 cars here, so obviously I'm not gonna spend $120 to put decals on a train that's made completely out of junk parts. So, like I said, it's far from perfect, but it's not a bad looking train. It runs well. It is all original tin litho. That being a, a relative term, of course. It's all mismatched. Some cabin slot, some plastic tilt, some metal tilt. 
and all of it was bottom of the barrel rusted junk. But when you get bottom of the barrel rusted junk, you can uh, turn it into something else. As I always say, just because it's junk when you get it, doesn't mean it's going to be junk when you're finished with it. In this case, it was the perfect uh, choice to use for painting these cars. Covers the rust and gives you an army train. So I just want to do a quick video on this. The uh, tank is from Menards. The uh, helicopter is from Dollar Store. The wine corks, of course, are from Robin. So it actually didn't take long to do this. I got most of the rust off as best I could and then lined them all up and uh, painted them in groups of four. That's the, as much room as I had, I painted it on top of a cardboard box, of course. So I sprayed them, the stuff dries actually pretty quick, within about 15 minutes. So I had this whole thing painted and reassembled in, I don't know, a couple hours. Painted the Commodore Vanderbilt. I originally did this with a Marks 400 plastic body, but I wanted it all metal, so took that uh, wind-up and converted it, and this is the result. A Mark's Army Train made completely out of junk parts. Like I said, it's far from perfect, but it's actually quite respectable looking. It looks like an Army Train. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com And as always, thank you for watching.